a disturbing story out of the Bronx today. A 41 year old man is dead after he was mauled to death by his pit bull in his apartment. When officers arrived at the scene, they were forced to shoot and kill the dog. I want to reporter Marcus Solis just spoke with the victim's family. He's live in the long session with much more on this very disturbing story. Marcus. And Liz, the victim's family says they grew up animal lovers with cats, dogs, even snakes. And so when Kahim Robinson had recently told his brother he had gotten a dog, it didn't seem anything out of the ordinary. He definitely going to be missed, man. Kai was special. Kai was, <laughs> Kai was, man, he was special. Concerned family members arrived at the building today searching for answers. Four flights up is the apartment where Kahim Robinson lived and suffered a grisly death. The 41 year old was fatally mauled by a pit bull he'd recently acquired. Around 3 this morning, residents of 1210 Simpson Street heard screams and worse. I heard the girl that was inside the apartment yelling that the dog was attacking him, and he was like fighting him off, fighting the dog off, and the dog, I guess, I don't know, that dog was like. It looked like he was tearing them up because it sounded like he was like like biting and like you could hear muffing and all that. And I was like, wow, so I called 911. Police responded and saw the adult dog mauling the victim on the leg and neck. They opened fire, killing the animal. Robinson was pronounced dead at St. Barnabas Hospital. It's gruesome, you know, it's very gruesome, you know, that it, happen, it has to happen that way, but, you know, unfortunately. The affordable housing building opened just last year. Dogs must be registered with management. Robinson's relatives say they were happy Kahim finally had a place of his own after years of struggles. Previously, he lived in a shelter and two years ago lost an 18 year old daughter to cancer. This is a picture of them when she was a baby. The family says Robinson may have gotten the dog to help deal with his grief. We just found out about the dog ourselves, so we're not too sure. We're trying to find out who he actually got the dog from. But that's all we actually know about the dog. We actually just found out ourselves. Well, the officers involved were treated for trauma. The shooting will be reviewed by the NYPD's Force Investigation Division as a standard practice. And we're live in the Bronx. Marcus Solis, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.